led into an ambush by her best friend, next Judge Judy. Two and a half men, CBS Tonight. Hey, thought you were working the late shift. I am. You want to take a little break? Yeah. So, busy day at work today, dear? Yeah. I heard that you and Craig dropped by the Lakeview. So we did. And that Craig practically dragged that little boy from Dusty's arms? It was a visit, a court-ordered visit. It lasted about two hours, and the baby is already back with Dusty. Yeah? You sure about that? Well, I don't know. Maybe you want to check your sources who seem to know everything about me and my client. How could you do that, Tom? You need to ask the judge who decided that Craig has legitimate visitation rights. You think it's perfectly all right that that little boy is dragged from his father's arms and because what, Dusty what, what hits his father. What kind of dragging father. are we talking about here? It was very peaceful. Dusty just complied with the marshal's request. Oh, you brought in a federal marshal on this as well? Huh? Hi. Hey, Maddie. Hi. Casey, are you? Uh, I didn't know that we were expecting Casey. Oh, yeah, he said he'd, he'd meet me over here. He and Adam are getting together. I thought you had the lead shift. Yeah, I do. Aren't, aren't you, uh, do you have anything, something, homework or something? Oh, no, I, I finished it in study hall and then I went to the library and then that. So, you know what, it's gorgeous outside. I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna wait for Casey. So you're all right with this? Craig wants to spend time with his child. now. I can understand that, so if it's his lawful prerogative to do so, don't you think that we should all just accept that? It's the way he's doing it. It's being done by the book. Honey, you have told our sons I don't know how many thousands of times that it's not enough that something is legal, that it should also be right. This is not right, and you know it. You've made this threat before. Well, this time I'm going through with it. If you don't drop your plans for a custody suit, I'm going to send you back to jail. Dusty put you up to this. Where are you going? I'm going home. I'm not going to have an argument with you in the middle of a public place. I'm serious about this, Daddy. Well, then you're welcome to accompany me to Fairwinds, where we can discuss it like adults. On your turf. Do you have a turf? We can go to yours instead. Let's get this over with. Why are you here? Can I come in? Why? Where's Mike? Uh, I'm sorry, Simon. I don't recall inviting you in to make yourself at home. I'm so sick of you barging into my uh, life. So am I. So am I. You know, I'm sick of our lives bumping into each other as well. So leave. Not until we settle a few things. It's been years since we talked about what went on between us. What went on between us? Which time are you talking about, Simon? Because they all seem to blur together. See, that's it. That's good. See, that's what that's what I'm talking about. You know, just yell, scream, blame, guilt. Just, just, just bring it on, okay? Because if we end up hating each other so much, the better. At least then maybe we can get on with our lives. I've already gotten on with my life. I have Mike, a man who I love with my whole heart, and you have Carly, a woman that you, whatever. So what else do you need? I need to talk. How's that? God, what is it with women? When, when you want to talk, they kick you out. When they want to talk, you got to drop everything and listen. Carly kicked you out? I didn't say that. Well, you two obviously had a fight. Okay, listen, where's Mike, all right? Because I want to get this done without him budging in and taking another swing at me. Mike is out of town. So you and Carly had a fight, and you come to me because... The point is, if I want Carly, or any other woman for that matter, I have to be able to let you go now, completely. So, what I'm trying to say is that telling Jack our relationship is uh, strictly professional, that was a knee-jerk reaction. It wasn't fair, Simon, and it isn't true. Oh, boy, I hate leaving this on voicemail. But the truth is, you're important to me. Very important. And I'm going to tell Jack that. Look, bye. <laughs> bye. Let me save you the phone call.
truly flavorful sauce, start with Prego. Add a pinch of mill and a generous sprinkling of nada. When you start with the perfect blend of seasonings, all you need to add is nothing. Prego, it's in there. French Vanilla Cool Whip. French Vanilla's here for that special time of year. To the Cool Whip. Happy holidays, just a dollop away. Ba la 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 la, French Vanilla. Don't forget to rinse those dishes first. That'll take forever. You don't need to rinse first. With Electrosol 3 in 1 tabs, the blue layer lifts stuck on food, the white cleans tough stains, and the Jet Dry Powerball makes your dishes shine for 100% clean dishes. Ooh, sparkly. Electrosol Powerball tabs. Also try 2 in 1 Electrosol Gel Packs, the only pack with 100% fast dissolving gel, plus Jet Dry Rinse Agent action for sparkling clean dishes. Extra Strength Excedrin. Strong pain medicine with an extra boost to end any size headache. So the pain stops. You don't. And you feel like ruling your world again. Excedrin. Go. Your kids can play piano very well. Thanks. They've loved learning. <laughs> Tell me, did you bribe them to practice or beg? Video games. With I Can Play Piano System, your kids play great video games on their own keyboard. I knew it. Bribes. Games that teach them to read music and play real songs at the same time. Of course, you have to put a limit on video games. Yahoo! Not these, they're music to my ears. I Can Play Piano, only from Fisher Price. That's right, honey. Play louder. Know what's unfair? When you realize all those little lines and spots weren't around yesterday. So I use L'Oreal's new Advanced Revitalift Complete Lotion. In just two weeks, new anti-wrinkle and firming action. New evenness, all in a lightweight lotion. L'Oreal's new Advanced Revitalift Complete Lotion. Hey, buddy, ready to go to Burger King? Not right now, Dad. But I want a Whopper. Kind of busy here. <laughs> Fine, get in the car. Buy one adult value meal and get one kid's meal with a Happy Feet toy for 99 cents. Now everyone wins. Tonight, Dave's all new with Will Ferrell plus. Don't watch my toupee. Jack Hennis Animals. And later this week, don't miss Kiefer Sutherland, Dustin Hoffman, and the new James Bond, Daniel Craig. Behind the scenes of tonight's CSI Miami with David Caruso. Tomorrow on The Early Show. You're here to protect the world from my evil. All right. I'm all ears. What do you want me to do? Okay, visitation is one thing. Getting to know Johnny is one thing, but please stop pushing it further. I want you to promise me that you'll stop any plans of trying to get custody of him. And look, I know you want to raise him, Daddy, but Johnny belongs with Dusty. Why is that? Okay, th the most important thing for children to learn in the first crucial years of their life is where home is. And when, when Jennifer died, the one thing she wanted above everything else was that that place stay the same for her son so that he could be as stable as possible. And you have to understand that right now, Dusty is Johnny's whole world. To take him out of that world after everything he's been through would be nothing short of cruel, Daddy. So please leave Johnny and Dusty alone. Let them be happy. No. Anything else? You're not even going to think about it. You're just, you're going to force me to have to press criminal charges against you. If you must. You know what? I'm going to the police. I warned you. I am his father! And I will not allow anyone, not you, not Dusty, not anyone to keep me from my son. And I thought it was impossible for you to get any more selfish. Selfish? When it comes to my children, of course I'm selfish. I want what's best for, for Johnny, and I want what's best for you. I love you. Okay, then do what's best for Johnny and me. Show your son and daughter how much you love us. Let this go, Daddy. Please, let it go. I can't do that, sweetness. Don't make me go to the police, Daddy, because I will. I will have them reopen my kidnapping case, and I will 
and they will arrest you, and I will testify against you, and I will put you back in jail. I will. You mean that? Yes, I do. Okay, well, then I better call my lawyer. You're gonna drop this? You're, you're not gonna try and get custody of Johnny? Well, I think that you need to make a phone call too, right? To the police. I don't understand. Go ahead, have me arrested, but I will raise my son. It is neither unethical nor wrong that I actually get paid well for my legal advice. Even if that advice allows Craig to do something, oh, say, reprehensible. You know what? I have been down this custody road with Emily. Oh. I can understand and sympathize with a guy who wants to raise his own kid. It's two completely different techniques. He didn't invite Dusty into his office and discuss this with him, did he? No, he ambushed him in a public place with a lawyer and a federal marshal. Tom Hughes. Tom, it's me. Can you come to Fairwinds? I have a situation. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, the master is calling me. Hey, Maddie, why are you hanging out here? Hey, uh, I'm waiting for Casey. Uh, it's kind of cold to be waiting around outside, don't you think? Yeah, it's a little too hot inside. Uh. Yeah. So you're producing a, a demo for Gwen. That's very exciting. Casey's excited. Well, nothing's definite yet. Oh, but I thought... Don't you want to do it? Sure, but more because of my brothers than because of Gwen. I mean, I, I get why Will's so gung-ho about this. Gwen's his wife. But Casey, why is he pushing this so hard? I guess he feels that he owes Gwen. Oh. For what? Um... You know what? It would be better if you ask Casey about this. Hey. Hi. Hey, bro. Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to pick up some equipment and crashed, and this promoter's been hounding me, so... You're a busy guy. Yeah, but I'm not too busy for Gwen's demo. It's gonna be awesome, right? Let's hope so. Well, I thought you liked her. I think she has potential, but that doesn't explain why you guys are so intense about this. I'm, I'm just wondering what kind of hold Gwen has on you. I seem to be interrupting a lot of private moments lately. It wouldn't happen if you didn't keep sneaking up on me. JJ, left this in the car. Uh-huh. You could have knocked. Yeah, this will teach me. We've been through this, Jack. You don't live here anymore. You can't just walk in whenever you want to. Got it. There's something you want to tell me? Nothing you didn't just hear. I'm not going to believe it. Not until you say it to my face. Are you in love with Simon? You want to make up with Carly? Fine, go talk to her. Leave me out of it. No. See, Carly thinks that... What? Well, amongst other things, that you and I have residual feelings. Oh, she's crazy. I have my life, you have yours. So you can go reassure Carly. I've got stuff to do. No, I got it, I got it. Sorry. Don't, don't, don't touch it! I've got it! This is my handwriting, huh? I gave you this. I gave you this. And you saved it all, huh? All the... the pieces of our life together. Tune in Friday, November 24th as eight wannabe soap stars compete for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to win a contract on As the World Turns. Don't get in my face! I can get in your face if I want to get in your face! Intern on CBS Daytime. Recently, some allergy decongestants chose to change their formula to stay in the aisle. Claritin D chose not to change. Thank you, Claritin D. So now you'll find Claritin D behind the pharmacy counter. Thank you, Claritin D, for staying tough on the toughest allergy symptoms. For refusing to change your formula. Nothing works stronger, faster, or longer to relieve your worst allergy symptoms, including congestion and sinus pressure without drowsiness. Thank you, Claritin D, for helping me live Claritin clear. Claritin D, now behind the pharmacy counter, still no prescription needed. Well, mama, don't you make me another meatloaf. Forget the mac and cheese. I want some fun piled on a bun. I want a man which please. Make tonight a man which night. I want a man which please. 
don't know how well Jesus does it. Forty conquer grapes in every glass of their grape juice. They never ever add sugar. It's naturally sweet. Really, really. Forty! Walters is the best juice in the world. Isn't there a meter that lets me test my blood sugar and be on my way? With no coating and a small sample size, the contour meter from Bayer means testing will fit into your life instead of interrupting it. Don't I have enough to think about? Easy accuracy. Answered by Bayer. When you've got the taste of the original ranch, things seem a little more like the way they're supposed to be. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. I don't know why people don't know about this. I don't know why I didn't know. I've never heard of this. I'm just shocked. I just found out that cervical cancer is caused by certain types of a common virus, HPV, human papillomavirus. A cancer caused by a virus. I didn't know that. Millions of people already have the types of HPV that can cause cervical cancer and other diseases. You could have HPV and not even know it. For most women, HPV clears on its own, but for some, cervical cancer can develop. That's why it's important for you to talk to your doctor about pap tests. I'm gonna to talk to her doctor about ways to help prevent cervical cancer at her next checkup. I wanna tell someone that I love. I wanna tell my daughter. Tell someone. Tell someone. Tell someone. How can it be offensive if it's true? Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Tone aside, historically, you guys have struggled to adapt. Yeah, right. Walking upright, discovering fire, inventing the wheel, laying the foundation for all mankind. You're right. Good point. Sorry we couldn't get that to you sooner. Connie, your reaction? Sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the rock. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Gwen doesn't have any kind of hold on me. She's my friend. She's our friend, and I think she's really talented. I must have misunderstood. Wait, what is this? I'm sorry if I said anything wrong. I, I thought Adam knew about everything. Oh. Yeah. So, so what's the deal? You know what? I have a book that I need to pick up at the library. Maddie, so no, no, don't leave. You should talk to your brother. So? It's not that big a deal, really. Or it's not now, but it was kind of crazy. Um, Gwen and I hooked up once. Oh. But, I mean, it only happened once. The thing is, she got pregnant. What? 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 Well, okay. When did this happen? Uh, before senior year. Over a year ago. But you know, what happened to the baby? He died. You, you, you were going through all this and you, and you didn't even tell me? I, I, Gwen was going through most of it. I, I pretty much pretended like she and the baby didn't exist. Which is why you owe her. No, that's not what this is about, all right? You heard her sing. Yeah, but she... No, that... look, I know that she's got what it takes to make it happen. And I'm willing to work my butt off to make sure that it does happen. Why? Well, partly because she's my friend. And partly because I want to be in on it. And with you producing... Okay, 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 Casey, back up, back up, back up. Okay. You and Gwen have some major history. Don't you think that's going to complicate things? Wait, I hate it when we fight. Then you need to stop riding me about this because I'm not going to quit. Be careful out there, all right? You too. Honey, what is Craig planning? I don't know. And if I did, couldn't tell you anyway. You think Tom can talk me out of this? I think Tom can bail me out of jail if and when you follow through on your threat. Oh, I'll follow through. Because of Dusty? Are you trying to buy his love with the stunt? Am I attracted to Dusty? Yes. But I am here because I don't think you should raise Johnny. 
Really? You prefer that he be raised by a man who's been arrested more times than I have? And don't even try to list the number of shady people that he's dealt with. He's even got one watching my son right now, that Chaz Dragati. You don't think that I've checked him out? Yeah, well, at least Dusty won't use Johnny as a pawn. That's exactly what he's doing. He is using Johnny to seduce you. Jennifer would have inherited all of Barbara's money, which is impressive. But you stand to inherit a good chunk of Lucinda's. So, of course, he's making you feel useful, making you feel needed, making you feel loved. Dusty's heart isn't going pity pat, it's going ka ching, ka ching. <sighs> Lucy. So, what would you think of me? I'm so useless, so starved for affection, that I'd fall for the first guy who looked at me twice. Oh, but then nobody loves me like my daddy does. Thank God for that. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm upset. You got away with what you did to Jennifer because she's not around to prosecute you. But I'm alive, and I will make sure that they throw the book at you for what you did to me. And I will. Unless... You leave Johnny and Dusty alone. Know what you're doing, Lucy. Kidnapping is a federal offense. You won't be sending me to some county lockup for a couple of months. If you testify against me, you'll be sending me to a federal prison for the rest of my life. Is that what you want? I want you to leave Johnny alone. And I don't want Dusty Donovan raising my son. So you just go ahead. Throw me in jail. Do what you have to do. Do what you like. Because I certainly intend to. What are you doing with all this stuff? I'm throwing away. It's garbage. Oh, I see. Mike's away. You're lonely, so you pull out a box full of remembrances oh, of me. You're so full of yourself. So how often do you do this, Katie? Huh? Once a week, Never. once a month? No, I don't look at this stuff. I was cleaning out some closets, and the box was sitting there. Okay, and what's the real story? That is the real story. I was married to you, remember? That's what I'm trying to forget. Katie, you're a neat freak. You don't need to clean out closets because they never, ever get cluttered. You won't allow it. You attack dust and clutter like it's a holy war. kept everything you're taking this the wrong way Simon yes you saw a couple things in here that you gave me but the rest of the stuff is just stuff that I, I I'm done with uh, I gave you this uh, um, I gave you this you gave me this I was wondering where that went oh, come on it's what about this? I can't... That doesn't belong in there. That's Mike's. Oh, it's Mike's, right? And yet it's in a box filled with things that remind you of me. It doesn't remind me of you. It reminds me of Mike. Give it back. Simon? Then you weren't. People who don't know if they're in love, it's because they've never really been there. They've seen it, they've read about it, maybe they've even thought it. But you and I, we've been there. You know we have. What we had. I don't feel that for him. Okay. <laughs> But I was lying when I said that it was just business. It has gone beyond that, yeah, Jack. I figured. I just didn't want to admit to myself that you... Well, isn't that what you wanted? For me to move on? I never really thought about what moving on would really mean, Carly. I was just so angry. So you said... I'd see you, and I'd, I just want to grab you and shake you, and it scared me. Because the anger would never go away. So... So I had to, I had to go. No, you didn't. 
No, you didn't. You could have gotten past it. But you didn't want to. You wanted it to be black and white. You right. Me wrong. You wanted us to be over. Well, I thought it would be easier to live without you than to live with who you are. Is it? It's hell. You miss the kids. Oh, I miss you. I miss you. You said that, that we had to work it out and hold it together, and I thought, I thought we had to throw everything away to begin again. But it is black and white. You were right, I was wrong. I want you back. Coming up on As the World Turns. Feels like the first time. The first time? home with soft scrub this is what the surfaces feel ah nice and this <laughs> is what the dirt and germs feel ouch soft scrub it's gentle to surfaces yet tough on dirt when teens are hungry it seems like there are two of them new totino's mega pizza rolls twice the delicious filling for twice the appetite mega pizza rolls new from totino's not a natural blonde? Really? You've got Color Me Happy from Herbal Essences. Helps keep your color looking real. You'll swear you had Swedish parents. Yeah. See what else is new from Herbal Essences. Forecast says frizz. Who cares? It's none of your frizzness from Herbal Essences. All day frizz control. Come rain or come shine. <laughs> You're smoking. None of your frizzness. New from Herbal Essences. That's me, Brett Farr. And it's my ninth day with Prilosec OTC. I thought I had to miss out on stuff because of frequent heartburn. But with Prilosec OTC, my thinking's changed. Day two, I had the boys over for crawfish. Day five, I just chilled. Today, I'm working at home. Zero heartburn for 24 hours with one pill a day with Prilosec OTC. It's day nine for me. What day are you on? Because babies communicate through touch. New Pampers Sensitive Wipes with a Touch of Milk Essentials condition your baby's skin every time you use them. New Pampers Sensitive Wipes. Because every touch means so much. As long as he can remember. What you doing with your feet? Oh, happy. Mumble never quite fit in. Can't sing rubbish, darling. <laughs> But on November 17th, he's growing up. Don't ask me to change, Paul. Standing out. Where'd you learn that? The big guy. He with us. And bringing the world to their feet. Whoa. This guy is so accidentally cool. Happy Feet. Rated PG. In theaters and IMAX November 17th. Tonight. No, CSI Miami's wildest ride yet. Little warning. Sorry about that. New episode CBS Tonight. Murder on the lakes. Looks like a hole in one, boss. Turns into a turf war. It's the Army Navy Club. We'll take the crime scene. You can take the other 17 holes. Suspected homegrown terrorist cell? Uh, I think I know who their target is, boss. Us. New NCIS CBS Tuesday.
I'm a Republican, but I'm just not comfortable with Peter Roskam. Like Roskam's against a woman's right to choose, even in cases of rape and incest. He opposes banning assault weapons. Roskam wouldn't even support a bill to let principals expel a student who brought a gun to school. And he supported book banning in our schools. Peter Roskam's just too extreme. Too extreme. Too extreme for me. There's a better choice. Tammy Duckworth, newspapers endorse her, calling her a moderate and an independent voice. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Would David McSweeney represent our values in Congress? McSweeney would ban a woman's right to choose, even for victims of rape and incest. That just scares me very much. McSweeney's against embryonic stem cell research that one day could cure crippling diseases. I'm absolutely appalled by that stance. And McSweeney wants military-style assault weapons to be legal. That's just a terrible, terrible idea. David McSweeney is an extreme individual. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. On our next show... I just don't feel sexy at all. A sexy new look for a deserving mom. And on Tuesday, Lara Spencer's here with the Anna Nicole exclusive. It's the Daniels kid. Today at 2 on CBS2 Chicago. A little known but aggressive form of breast cancer, tonight at 10 on CBS 2 News. Dennis Haysbert stars in The Unit, CBS Tuesdays. You want me back? You say that now. After all these months, why? I've been thinking about it for a while. How long? I wasn't paying attention to dates. Well, I'd like to know, so maybe you could think about it and figure it out. Fine, all right, since the day I left. Liar. Carly, you held out that compass to me. I didn't want to go. I walked to my car. You called my name. I wanted to stay, Carly. I wanted to turn around and come back. And every single time I've been in this house since that day, I, I wanted to stay. No. It's the truth. Jack, you had plenty of chances. All those times I told you I loved you. When I begged you. I know. But you didn't come back. Not after a day. Not after weeks. Not after months. And today, today you want to come back. <laughs> Why? Simon. Yeah. Simon, you push me away, and you push me away, and then when some other man wants me, you, there you are, front and center, ready to stake your claim. Not because Simon wants you. Carly, what, what do I care if he wants you? A lot of guys want you. Why wouldn't they look, look at you? Then what? Because you're talking to yourself into wanting him. And we can't have that, can we? Because you're supposed to be the only man I'll ever love. I am the only man you'll ever love. Not if I can help it. I thought... I thought we couldn't make it. Because we were too different. I even pretended that I could live with you finding someone else. Somebody you'd love. And I knew you'd, you'd find someone someone you deserve, someone who would, who would love you and not judge you and, and not try to change who you are. The problem is, Carly, you don't belong with that person. You belong to me. God help us. Well, it feels like the first time first time. Look, if I touch you, I'll explode. And if I don't, don't. I don't know why I'm crying. It's all right. Come on, it's okay. I mean, who wouldn't get a little emotional throwing away something as lovely as this? throw this away? You've had this since you were a little girl. I thought... If we ever had a daughter, you said Yeah, that well, since that's not gonna happen. With me. With Mike. 
Why are you going to throw it away? Because it was about you. Not when I made it. But then you found it and you arranged that wedding. I mean, you made every single stupid little wish I had come true. <sighs> you were so beautiful. Saying our vows in the church together. Underneath a hole in the roof. <laughs> With the snow drifting in on us. We thought it was a miracle, remember? <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> Years have passed, you know? And we have been with different people and lived different lives. But there's always this. There's always this in the background. And the happiness we shared, the perfect life we had. And then just like that, you know, it was over. It was just, it was just gone. No wonder we haven't been able to get over it. Simon, you think I'm not over you? This is exhibit A, <laughs> okay? All right? There's no shame in it. Yes, there is. I loved you so much, and I didn't know who you were. You know why it's easy to get rid of all this stuff? Because it wasn't real. Our wedding, our anniversaries, all this stuff that you gave me, it wasn't real. Yes, it was. Mike is real. My marriage is real. The only memory I want of you is you walking out that door for good this time, and don't come back. Whatever has happened between us, I will always be your father. And you will always be my little girl. But it's not in your nature to knowingly hurt me. You don't think I can do this? In my defense, whenever I've wronged you, I've done it out of love. And if you go ahead with what you're threatening, it'll be out of spite. And that's just not who you are. I know you. You're my daughter. daughter. That's exactly who I am. So what's wrong with Lucy? She didn't even say hello. Oh, she's got uh, things on her mind. Huh. So what was so urgent that you needed to see me immediately? It passed. I thought there was going to be some uh, real legal problems, but I think I took care of them. It's really not so surprising that people can't always eat right. They just have too much on their plate to think about what they should put on their plate. That's why there's Delicious Ensure, a source of complete balanced nutrition with protein, 24 vitamins and minerals. Have a great tasting shake at breakfast or lunch or as a pick-me-up anytime. So when you can't eat right, eat smart. Drink Ensure, nutrition for a healthier you. If you have diabetes and are on Medicare, you may qualify for a free meter from Liberty Medical. You know, there are still some people who don't know that the cost of their diabetes testing supplies may be covered by Medicare. Well, if you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, your testing supplies may be covered. Here's how it works. Liberty is a Medicare participating provider. They bill Medicare and your insurance company. You pay nothing up front. Your testing supplies are delivered right to your door and no charge for shipping. You have nothing to worry about because when it's time to reorder, Liberty will remind you. They'll even send you a free meter if you qualify. Give them a call to find out. Call Liberty Medical. They can help you live a better life. Get your free meter. Call Liberty today at 1-800-903-3884. I've got a secret in my litter box. Arm & Hammer to fight odor. That was then. Now it's Arm & Hammer High Performance Clumping Litter. Absorbs twice more than the other leading brand to lock in odors with baking soda to get rid of them. It's natural, nice, twice as absorbent. Of all the cute little outfits she has to crawl around in, her favorite thing to wear is nothing.
That's why Huggies makes new natural fit diapers. Unlike Pampers Cruisers, Huggies is the only diaper with Hug Flex, a new hourglass shape that fits and feels more natural to your baby. It's a little thing that lets her forget about her diaper and focus on fun stuff, like playing with you. The little things are everything. Huggies Natural Fit. Okay, girls. This one's for us. It's L'Oreal's new Age Perfect Makeup. It helps transform your complexion from dull to radiant. New Age Perfect gets back at those little spots and wrinkles. Now my skin, I'm talking radiant. New Age Perfect Skin Supporting and Hydrating Makeup by L'Oreal. Tonight, some obsessions <laughs> are weirder than others. What's going on here? A new two and a half men. Alan, you sick freak. Then, Christine's got a secret crush on her son's teacher. Mr. Harris is headed this way. Kiss me. The new adventures of old Christine. I'm sorry, I'm panicked. At the Two and a Half Men CBS Tonight. From Hallmark Hall of Fame, her love brought light to an entire town. I couldn't have even hope for this. Alicia Silverstone, Candles on Bay Street, November 26th. So how'd it go? Um, I did what we said. Did your father drop the custody suit? He thought I was bluffing. Were you? Sort of. I'm sorry, Dusty. I, I thought he'd care enough about me to back off. Now what? I don't know. Well, didn't Barbara say something about a lawyer? Yeah, yeah, that might work in the long run. But in the meantime, how many court order visits is my son going to have to go through? I mean, when is your father just going to take him and run? You're my only shot. But he's my father. There's got to be another way. There is. Testify against your father. Would you do it? Would you do it for John? Did Mom look weird to you just now? She and Dad have been going through some stuff since uh, he took the job with Craig. But they'll get, they'll get past it. Look, about Gwen. Oh, Gwen. Okay, she she's super cool. She's uh she's totally committed, totally organized. A little bit of a type A personality, but other than that, you'll love working with her. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. What's the problem? You and Will. You guys both feel like you have to bend over backwards to make her happy. I mean, Will's doing it to make up for sleeping with Jade, and you're doing the same thing about getting her pregnant. No, dude, that has nothing to do with this. Well, it's making me rethink this whole thing. You know what, Adam? What? <laughs> You're the diva here, not Gwen. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah, you're talking about being Mr. Professional and everything when you keep acting like you're gonna back out. Now, they're on their way over here right now to see if you wanna work things out, so you're either in or you're out. It's your decision, man. What is it? I can't do this. Look at me, Carly. Look, look at me. What's wrong? I can't be with you, Jack. Why not? You can tell me. You can tell me anything. I can't go back to being your wife. It was hard. You know. Sometimes impossible. Why? Because I was always trying to do things your way. Live up to your standards. But I'm not that person. I don't want to try to be anymore. I have fun doing things you wouldn't even consider. Like what? How many times have we been through this, Jack? How many more times is it going to take? I'm not going to change. Neither are you. It's too hard with you. Oh, it's easier with Simon. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, that seems like a pretty good place to start, then. You want to talk about the times I left? I don't want to talk about any of it. Suit yourself, but I am not leaving this house with you thinking that everything we had was a lie. Now, even though we started on shaky ground... You only married me 
so you wouldn't get deported. I know! I know, and I didn't love you then. But later on... You know, I try to pretend to be something that I'm not, but I can't. I can't seem to shake it, you know? I'm a con man by trade. I'm a thief and I'm a liar. But there are some things that even I cannot fake. There are some things that I can control and manipulate. And loving you, what we had in this house together was the most real and the most true thing that has ever happened to me and no one will ever take it away from me. And why should I believe that? Because you were there. You felt it just like I did, okay? And I will be damned if I let you deny it. Yeah, well, I love Mike. So you've told me, okay, Katie? So you've told me a thousand times. But why is it in order for your marriage to him to mean something, your marriage to me has to mean nothing? I didn't make us nothing, Simon. You did. I had to leave, Katie. I had to leave to save your life. I thought you were dead. I wanted to die, too. No. And deciding to live, deciding to go on without you, took everything that I had. And when I finally got myself back together, when I finally did it, and you walk again, you made me love you again. And you left again! I don't love you, Simon! I hate you! You gotta try Honey Bunches of Oat. It's got three kinds of flakes mixed in. Just the right touch of honey. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I'm partial to the crunchy clusters. Honey Bunches of Oat! There's a whole bunch to love. We made some just for you! Purell users see the world differently. They don't see germy bathrooms. They just carry Purell. It kills 99.99% .99 of germs. So look around. The world is cleaner than you think. Purell. Imagine a touchable world. Hi-ho! What do we need here? A poofy intervention? Oh, careful, honey. You could lose a hand in that hair. You're a blue. Uh-oh. Scary boyfriend. I gotta go. Sun silk anti-poof. Get therapy. Campbell's chicken noodle possibilities. A noodle slurp, mmm, good, wholesome, it's understood. So much fun, kids can't wait. Campbell's really makes lunch great. Possibilities. Cheese it packs so much real cheese in such a small bite. People are wondering. How does cheese it do it? I know. They just. <laughs> Cheese it. Cheese it. Want a whole new way to get real big cheese taste? Cheese it's got you covered. Available in cheddar and white cheddar flavors. Cheese it, the big cheese. Laundry is not new. Your mother, your grandmother, her mother, they all did the laundry. Maybe even a man or two. And although a lot has changed, the machines, the detergents, the clothes themselves, one thing has not. The bleach most trusted to keep whites pure white is still Clorox bleach. And you can trust your colors to Clorox too. <coughs> Bullseye right in my face! Boy, that cough was rough. Oh boy, <coughs> as your uh, right hand man, I gotta tell you, you gotta control that urge to cough. Cause when you cough, everyone suffers. That's why there's Delsum, the only liquid that controls the urge to cough for 12 hours. That's 12 hours, all day or all night. With Delsum, you'll feel better, and so will everyone around you. Thank you, Delsum. Turn off the cough with Delsum. This is only the beginning. And it's really suspicious package that the waterworks tipped off. There is a bomb under your seat. New criminal minds. Then deadly paintball wars, a CSI stalker. Hey! And did we mention aliens? He texts you so they can't read your mind. We're good. A new CSI New York, CBS Wednesday. Have a celebratory drink? No, I'm gonna pass. Am I going to find out what the big crisis was tonight? It's over. It's passed. <clears throat> because of my brilliant powers of persuasion. Lucy, you're back. Yes. Hi. Great. You know, I'm 
some of the things that we said earlier were pretty harsh, so I'm glad that you're back so we can make up. Actually, um, I brought some people with me. When you came back, I so hoped I would never have to say these words again. What have you done? Craig Montgomery, you're under arrest. I don't know if I'm in or out. I won't know until I hear the rest of Gwen's material. I already told you that. Yeah, but you're making it personal. It is personal. You and Will are my brothers. That puts a lot of pressure on me to get this thing to work. Hey, Adam, we all want to make this work. Okay, yeah, but I have the, the reputation to protect. And I'm also the only one of us who knows how hard it is to produce a hit album. Well, if you keep... No, I like get committed to listening to Gwen's material, and I'll do that. But you and Will, you have to realize something. You know, no matter how much you guys want this thing to work, if Gwen and I don't click creatively, it's just not gonna happen. Okay. You mean that? Because I don't want this to mess things up between us. No, 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 it, it won't. And, dude, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm sorry. It's just that, man, I really want to see this thing take off. Well, get Gwen over here and we'll see what we can do. Get off me, bro. <laughs> Are you are you happier with Simon? Sometimes. Only sometimes. I may be what you want, Jack, but I'm not what you need. And that hurts. It really does, because for a very long time I wanted to be a good person. Like you. You are a good person, Carly. When I try, but then I forget to try. <laughs> I do what comes natural, and it's when things go bad. Hey, you don't have to try to be the only woman I'll ever love. You just are. I'm not who I was when I was with you, Jack. Not anymore. You left. And I let myself become someone else. And I can't go back. Carly. I need you to go, Jack. Hey. I want you to be... I want you to be happy. I just... Be careful with Simon. I will. And if he ever hurts you... He won't. moment of my life is when you showed up on my honeymoon with Mike, and I regret every minute I have wasted on you since then. You know what I don't even get? Why did you come back to Oakdale in the first place? I just wish we could get on a plane and go back to Australia for good. Just get out! You know what you want closure? You want closure? I'll give you closure. Get out of my life! Go be with Carly. Go ruin someone else's Are life. You, you hate me? You really hate me? Can you teach me how? Because I want to hate you, too, with every fiber of my being. Because I want to get on with my life. Go! Get out! Get out! Now! On the next As the World Turns. It just seems like every time I turn around, there you are. I'm not a perfect father, but the love that I have for my children, all three of you, is perfect. Don't let Dusty destroy our family. We are ready to move on. Together.
I try to do whatever I can to take care of my health. It's a very big part of who I am. So when I found out I had osteoporosis, I knew I had to meet it head on. Then my doctor told me about Boniva, how it helps build strong, healthy bones to prevent fractures with just one pill a month. And I thought, hey, I can do this. Unlike other treatments you have to take once a week, I only need Boniva once a month. You should not take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for at least 60 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. If you're as determined as I am to have strong, healthy bones, don't wait. Ask your doctor if Boniva is right for you. I'm so glad I did. Once monthly Boniva. There's only one. Ask your doctor for a free trial offer or call 1-800-4-BONIVA. Hey, that's the last crescent. Oh, do you want it? Yeah. Okay, we'll split it. Made fresh. So light, buttery, and flaky. This is half. That's not half. Guys, I have more. Do you have enough crescents? We'll be experiencing turbulence. Please secure your belongings. Glad press and seal wrap. Just pull, place, and press. It gives you a spill-proof seal and makes instant bags to help keep food fresh. To seal almost anything, Glad press and seal wrap. Get Glad. Ah, softer. Try new Charmin Ultra. It's softer, so you'll want more, but you can use less. You can use less because it's more absorbent than the regular quilted brand. Now softer than before, less is even more. That's when it occurred to Molly. If Febreze tackles odors in sports gear, then why not take freshness the whole nine yards? Febreze, spray on freshness lovers, spray on. Gus thinks it's his job to protect me from the world. A love like this deserves new I Am Small and Toy. It's concentrated nutrition with more protein, so little dogs have the energy to do what they love for life. With all the skin creams out there, it takes an expert to choose. My expert choice? Total Effects. Fight seven signs of aging with the number one beauty editor recommended anti-aging cream, Olay Total Effects. It had to be perfect to make it into her pots. She knew what it took to make a meal you'd remember. And potatoes that good were lucky to get on the table. That's how grandmas show their love. Marie Callender's does it with new crock pot meals. Garden fresh vegetables, tender meat, savory sauces made from scratch. You just add water and simmer. She thought of everything. New crock pot meals from Marie Callender's. I need a little help for a friend. This one's off the books, huh? We locate, grab, clear, in and out, I figure, six minutes. No! She killed him. You're fugitives from justice. You gotta move. <laughs> Tune in to CBS2, weekdays at 2, for The Rachel Ray Show. Brought to you locally by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Buick dealer.